we built a biped robotic cat so a biped robot is any robot which can basically walk on two legs and there are many versions of it but what we have built here is a very simple robot which can walk and also dance now how is this a robotic cat because well just look at it it looks like a cat and also walks like a cat what you haven't seen a cat walk in two legs it's called a cat walk okay enough so in this video i'll show you how you can build this robotic cat on your own and let's roll the intro So let's start with the design of the robot. The complete robot is made out of acrylic and the complete design and modeling was done on Onshape. We have used a laser cutting machine to cut out all the required acrylic parts for our project. Now wait, 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 wait. You don't have to know 3D modeling or own a laser cutting machine to build this project because we have given you all the files for this robot. You can just download it, print it on a paper and cut it out of a cardboard using scissors and you will pretty much end up with the same design. So we have put a lot of work in bringing this design and project to you. So a sub to this channel would be awesome. Now let's take a closer look at this robot to understand the electronics. The construction of this robot is pretty simple. Once you have the acrylic parts, all you have to do is use the servo motors to assemble the robot. So we have five servo motors or uh, you can see one over here, one over here. So these two are the hip servo motors. Then we have two motors over here for the foot and then we have one neck servo motor. So all these five servo motors here are controlled by the Arduino Nano, which is the brain of our robot. Apart from that, we have the ultrasonic sensor, which acts as the eyes of the robot. So basically it can look in different directions for any object and take decisions accordingly. And then we have two switches on the bottom. One is the power switch to turn on the robot. And the other is a mode switch, which can be used to put the robot in walking mode or in dancing mode. So I will quickly put the circuit diagram of the robot over here. You can see there is nothing fancy. It is just five servo motors connected to an Arduino Nano. And we have the ultrasonic sensor and two power buttons. So here you can see the whole robot is being powered by the lithium cells, which is kept inside the body of this robot. So the lithium cell can be turned on and off using this switch over here. The next step is programming and for that we'll go to my desk okay so we are on our website and you can see that we have the complete documentation of the project you can click this button to download the 3d models and then we have some parts marking we also have the circuit diagram with proper explanation for that and then we have a lot of code explanation but what i want to show you here is that if you go all the way down you can see there are two code section the code one is the code which you have to upload before you assemble the robot this way all the servos will be assigned in the 90 degree angle and you can uh, then start assembling the robot once the robot is assembled you can get the code from here and you can upload it into your robot again the code explanation is already given here but let me just quickly show you what exactly is happening here like always we start the code with uh, defining all the sensors we have have one ultrasonic sensor and all the rest are the five servo motors and then we have defined a lot of functions say there is a function called dance there is a function to move forward there is a function to move the head left move the head to the center move it to the right uh, tilt the right up tilt the right down move the hip servo move the foot servo so there are a lot of uh, functions being defined here and in the void loop what we have done is we have just checked the distance ahead of the ultrasonic sensor and then we have made the robot to move accordingly. 
With that, we have come to the end of this video. So honestly speaking, the most fun part of building this robot is being able to program it on your own, connect your Arduino Nano, see how moving different servo motors affects the robot so that you can make your own version of catwalk or make it dance in your own way. With that, this is Ashwin signing off. Hope you learned something useful and got interested to build something on your own. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.